Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 8 learners! Sa video na ito ay igagaid ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 4 sa inyong week 5 to 6 na module. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung mga previous learning tasks, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. So, madali lang naman itong learning task number 4. Given the biconditional statement, write the conditional statement and its converse. So, yung conditional statement, dadagdagan lang natin ng if at saka then. Yung converse naman ay kabaliktaran lang ng conditional statement. Yung hypothesis magiging conclusion, yung conclusion magiging hypothesis. So, dito sa number 1, a point is the midpoint of a segment if and only if it divides the segment into two equal parts. So, ito yung biconditional statement natin. Paano natin gagawin? Conditional. Kapag biconditional statement ay meron siyang if and only if, ibig sabihin na patunayan na it is true. Ang by conditional statement, ito yung my if and only if. Ang conditional statement nito ay, if a point is the midpoint of the segment, then it divides the segment into two equal parts. So, napalitan lang ng then yung if and only if. Okay? At ang converse statement naman nito, babaliktan lang natin yung hypothesis to conclusion dito. So, magiging... If the point divides the segment into two equal parts, then it is the midpoint of the line segment. So, ganun lang. And then, number 2, we have 4x minus 5 equals 27 if and only if x equals 8. So, magiging 27 lang siya kapag ang x equals 8. O, pinalitan ko yung given dito ha. Okay. Ang conditional statement nito, if... 4x minus 5 equals 27, then x equals 8. At ang converse statement naman, baliktarin lang natin, magiging if x equals 8, ito na yon, then 4x minus 5 equals 27. Which is true naman, ba? Kasi pag substitute mo yung 8 dito, 4 times 8 equals 32, minus 5 equals 27. Then lastly, sa number 3, the quadrilateral has four congruent sides and angles. If and only if, the quadrilateral is a square. Ang magiging conditional statement dito, if the quadrilateral has four congruent sides, ito yun, and angles, then the quadrilateral is a square. At ang converse statement naman, if the quadrilateral is a square, then it is a quadrilateral with four congruent sides and angles. Okay? So, ganun lang mga anak. And then, ilalagay ko na rin dito yung learning task number one ninyo sa inyong week 8 na module tungkol naman sa law of detachment. Write the following in words. Ito yung conditional statement, converse statement, at biconditional statement. Tapos, may question dito, are all statements true? If not, Give a counterexample. Ang statement dito, it is a pelican and it's a bird. So, ang conditional statement, dagdagan lang natin ng if. If it is a pelican, then it's a bird. And then, ang converse statement naman, pagbalikta rin lang natin. If it is a bird, then it's a pelican. Tapos, ang by conditional statement, it is a pelican if and only if it is a bird. So, totoo ba itong letter A? If it is a pelican, then it's a bird. So, totoo naman yan, meaning this is true. And then, letter B, if it is a bird, then it's pelican. Yung bird ba ay pelican? Hindi, di ba? Tapos, magbigay daw tayo ng counter example. So, it is false. Eagle is a bird but not pelican. At marami pang mga 
iba't ibang uri ng birds. So, pwede ninyong palitan ito. Pwede rin yung chicken, pwede rin yung penguin, okay? Tapos, ang by conditional statement, kailangan maging true itong conditional at saka yung converse. Since false na itong converse, ibig sabihin, yung by conditional statement is not true. So, this is false then, since the converse is false, okay? Then, number two, all wild animals are mammals. Ang conditional statement nito, if it is a wild animal, then it's a mammal. Ang converse statement naman, balik ta rin lang natin, if it is a mammal, then it's a wild animal. At ang by conditional statement, lagyan lang natin to ng if and only if. It is a wild animal, if and only if it is a mammal. Okay, so dito tayo sa question. Are all statements true? Tingnan natin. Kung wild animal siya, then it's a mammal. So, true yan. And then, dito naman sa letter B, if it is a mammal, then it's a wild animal. False kasi, cat is a mammal but not wild animal. Or pwede rin yung dog. And human also is a mammal. Tayo nga, mga tao ay mammal din tayo. Pero hindi tayo wild animal, di ba? Okay, dito naman. Since false na yung converse statement, then false na rin yung by conditional kasi kailangan silang maging true dalawa. False since the converse statement is false. Okay na? And then dito naman sa learning task number 2, make conclusion on the following patterns. Okay. Anong napapansin ninyo dito sa number 1? So, as you can see, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 5 plus 7. Ano yung napapansin ninyo dito sa mga addends? Lahat ito ay odd numbers. At ano yung magiging sagot niya? Nagiging even siya, di ba? Or nagiging integer siya. So, ang pattern nito, the sum of two odd integers is an integer. Or, pwede rin nyo namang lagyang or even number. Okay? Kasi even number lahat ng sum ng dalawang odd integers. Okay? Then, number 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 plus 8 equals 11. Ano yung napansin ninyong pattern? Meron tayong odd number, yung 1, 3, 3, 5, 15, 21 ay odd numbers. Tapos, ang inad niya ay yung even number. Even, 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 even. So, ibig sabihin, pag nag-add tayo ng even at saka odd number, ang magiging sagot niya is odd number. Ano yung pattern natin? The sum of odd and even integer is an odd integer. Okay? Then, lastly, we have 1 squared equals 1, 3 squared equals 9, 5 squared equals 25, 7 squared equals 49, 9 squared equals 81, 11 squared equals 121. So, ano yung pattern natin dito? Lahat ito ay odd integers. So, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. At ang sagot nila ay odd integers din. So, ano yung pattern dito? The square of an odd integer is odd integer. Okay? Kahit 13 squared pa yan, ang magiging sagot niya is 169 is still an odd integer. Okay, na nasundan nyo na. Alright, kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung learning test number 3, i-click nyo lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!